On Tuesday, November 12th, the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce hosted a lunch and learn with guest speaker, interim president, and CEO of Big Sandy Community and Technical College, Samuel Todd Brand. The main topics of discussion included increasing enrollment and retention rates at Big Sandy and addressing workforce shortages. Mountaintop News spoke with Brand to learn more. The biggest thing I think we've got to figure out is how we're going to really affect the labor participation rate in Eastern Kentucky, that prime working age gap that's there from people 25 to 54 who aren't involved in the workforce. We've got such a lack of skilled tradespeople, of healthcare workers, including nursing. It's, it's finding the right mix of programs and the right motivation to get people in, get them in college, and get them on the path, hopefully quickly, to a high paying, high demand job. If we can solve that puzzle, then we will have moved a mountain. Journey into the extraordinary. Blast off from any of our three locations, Cole Run, Caney, or South Williamson. Hideaway, novelty smoke and vape. Big Sandy wants to encourage those eligible for enrollment to look into their new undergraduate programs. They want to encourage success through their educational plans. So a couple of plans of attack. Number one, we are starting new programming. Um, our EKG program is going to be really, really big. We've got a partnership in Surge Tech that's going to be huge that hopefully is going to really encourage more students to come in and major in those allied health programs. And with our biggest employer being, being healthcare, you know, that's a good fit for us. But also in the skilled trades areas, our electrical program continues to grow. And then our welding program, we've revitalized our welding lab. We've almost doubled its size. And so hopefully now we've got the capacity, now we've got to go out and find those students. And so so that's going to be the, the, the second half or the, or the flip side of the coin, so to speak. Then when we get those students in, we've got to ensure that we've got programs that are encouraging success, that we're supporting our faculty in every way that we can so that we retain those students. And then we've got to walk them through hand in hand to an employer. And if we can do that from start to finish, then we will accomplish what we need to really promote overall student success. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.